Hi everyone, let's see what you are going to create today. It has a nice effect in PowerPoint, but it has some problem. We are going to fix the problems and create a better one. Okay, let's start. At first, we need to add a new slide. In this slide or in these types, we need to go from the darker to the lighter. Let's trick out shapes. You will find it here, your hexagon. And after creating that, you create three copy of that. I'm not going with too much. And then we need to align them center and in the middle. You see, you maybe guess it's not in the center and you are right. So how we can align them center and middle by pressing one by one, because when you select all of them, it's going to centralize them. The first place or the another way for doing that. It's that you group them and after grouping them, Align them center and align them middle. Okay, you see? Now you just simply can ungroup them. Okay. Now we reduce their size by holding shift and control to reduce in the perfect way. Now we select all three of them, go here and give them some inner shadows for this effect. Now we need to color them up, but before coloring up, don't forget to remove the shape outline. Now we remove it. Let's go from the darker to the We format the background and from here we set the color background to this color and to the lighter one. You see? By this way you create from the light to dark. Or I prefer the uh, reverse type because in the reverse type you see the effect better let me just create that for you you see this way it's look better okay now we need to copy that but before copying that you must know there are two copies of this thing when you copy that you see there are two copies okay but just for now let's uh, we are good with that but we need to copy another one and after creating copy we need to do some management do what we need to send this to back it's good now we need to bring this to front and bring this two to front absolutely and after bringing this two to front we need to Bring these two things to front also. Okay, now it's done. We are going to give them the same size. Now we copy that and paste it here. But before that, apply the background to all. In this slide, we need to reduce their size. And after reducing their size, we need to bring them top paste our text and then let's uh, color the text black and copy that we need to bring this thing to top here it's good we need to select this three and make them here and make them here and then bring this uh, top okay let me just align this I don't know why it's select this thing also. It's so annoying. Oh, let me uh, understand what I do. When we are going to move them from the shape, this happened. Okay, let's go. And after that, we just need to paste our text here. Let's make it black also. Now we copy that and we just simply, let me just increase this, okay, just simply select these two shapes, all the things that top, we select them and go here and we bring them to front, then here we select these two shapes by holding control, increase their size to the exact amount we need, okay, it's good. Now we copy the next text, 
paste it here then we select all the top parts here all the top parts and go here and bring them to front okay now we copy this slide copy this slide and here we like always select this two and increase the size and we paste the text copy the text you can write the text i have the text ready i just copy and paste it sorry i can't copy the text let me copy it again okay it's ready now we copy that another time but before copying we need to select these three things and you can bring them front from here then copy this slide select this tool and increase the size now for the last text let's paste it here let us write it up now we just need to send the transition to morph our slide is ready i also uh, after zero zero second it's good let's start you see it's going in its own wheel you see it's pretty interesting i hope you enjoyed if you like it tell me in the comments Have